On September 19, 2021, the first eruption of the La Palma volcano in the Canary Islands in 50 years began. This eruption began with a large plume of smoke due to the interaction of the intruding magma with shallow groundwater. Afterwards, the eruption shifted to Hawaiian-style lava fountaining with magnificent fountains of lava towering to more than 300 meters in height. Before I continue in my coverage and analysis of this eruption, I need to cover the elephant in the room. The good news is that as it stands right now, a tsunami will not occur. Now for the bad news. The eruption occurred in one of the worst locations possible, meaning that several hundred, potentially several thousand homes are at risk of destruction. The main hazard here is rapidly advancing basaltic lava flows. There is not much that can be done to stop them, although I encourage local fire departments to spray water on the edges of lava flows in an attempt to redirect the flows into areas with a more sparse concentration of structures. This video will discuss what is expected to occur in the next few weeks and summarize the eruptions so far. The island of La Palma is part of the Spanish Canary Islands and is located several hundred kilometers off the western coast of Morocco. This island, along with the other Canary Islands, exists due to an underlying hotspot in the mantle. This hotspot supplies quantities of molten rock to the six volcanoes spread across these islands. Now, I must remind people to not travel close to the lava flows as these are emitting high levels of both sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide gases which are reaching lethal concentrations adjacent to some flows. Also, there is a decent possibility that the advancing lava will split into two flows, potentially trapping a number of people on the island. Thus, I encourage experienced sea captains to help in evacuations if this occurs. With this being said, do not for any reason travel close to lava flows in a boat. As lava interacts with ocean water, it can create unpredictable explosions ejecting material up to 1,000 meters away. The new eruption is occurring through five north to south facing fissure vents which is centered approximately 2,500 meters east of El Parizo. This area has been the site of two recent lava flows, one in 1480 and one in 1949. I have been able to verify at least two distinct flows of lava traveling down slope at the locations shown on screen. Luckily, the lava is moving rather slowly at a kilometer per hour as shown here. This is what would be considered an a uh -uh lava flow. This slow movement speed allows for those in the affected areas to easily escape. Sadly, there are more than 1,000 homes located in the path of the advancing lava flows. There is not much that can be done to save these homes other than the aforementioned semi-effective method of spraying flows of lava with water. Since this eruption will continue for some time, it is possible to drop a series of concrete blocks into the path of the lava to redirect its overall movement, but this takes time. Previous eruptions from La Palma have lasted for anywhere between 1 to 2 months, so I would expect that to be the duration of the ongoing eruption. Almost all of the aforementioned eruptions contain small explosions in what is termed a Strombolian-style eruption. Thus, I expect the 2021 eruption to be rated on the Volcanic Explosivity Index as a 2. There is clearly some explosive activity, but it is rather minor. Thanks for watching.